Hello everybody, how's it going? If you're planning on getting a diamond cut rope chain, a couple things you should note. The first is that you made an excellent choice. Diamond cut rope chains are super sexy, very timeless, and the design of them is just absolutely gorgeous. The second thing to note is if you have long hair, like me if you're a girl or even a guy with longer hair, the only downside that I have found wearing this diamond cut rope chain is that sometimes like the hair on like the the back of my head kind of catches and intertwines with the rope and I'm just kind of you know I have to make sure that I gently take it out and that's happened a few times already I've had this chain for a couple days before I got this one I was I think the rope chain I had before was like a brass one plated in gold I don't even know what the base metal was but I cannot get over this. I got this one from Jacoji. It's three millimeters, um, 16 inches. But yeah, that's the only downside so far of the rope chain is that it would just kind of catch the hairs on you know the back of my head. Now, some people were asking me if it catches onto my clothing and that hasn't really happened for me just because this is a 16 inch. So it's a lot higher on the neckline, but even when I've worn sweaters, like it doesn't really catch on it. But then again, whenever I have something that's a bit higher, this is not a chain that, that I have out. It's just, you see the nice sort of neck profile of it. You know, you see it kind of peeking out. It has that sleek, tucked in sort of look. But I haven't really experienced anything with, you know, t-shirts where it kind of got stuck on it like that and looked a bit weird. The only thing that this has gotten stuck on is my hair and that's the only thing that sucks. Now, a third thing to note, which kind of goes off the first thing I was saying, if you hear screaming, it's not your child, it's the neighbors. So yeah, please, I'm sorry about that. But what was I saying? Okay, the rope chain is a great bang for your buck type of necklace, especially if you're just starting out. Me, myself, I definitely love the Cuban links. They're very sexy and that's still my dream chain in the future to get one handmade or you know what even a four millimeter would be sick before i used to want a seven but after kind of interacting with some people and seeing them i saw this guy wearing a three millimeter and honestly it looked pretty solid so like a four five i think would be amazing for daily wear so i'm kind of changing my specifications of what i consider my dream chain but with the rope chain it's awesome because you're getting this really intricate design and the cost of it is not as, as expensive as things like the Cuban Link, the Franco, just because those require more gold to make those type of chains. So with the rope chain, you have something that is a very decent price, but a great bang for your buck. You know, it definitely stands out. And another awesome thing about it is since it's not a link chain, it doesn't kink up at all. You don't have to worry about do, I mean, you can do the hang straight if you want to, but you could just throw this on and you'll be good to go. So for me, in case you're newer to my channel, I don't take off my, my necklaces. Even when I was wearing the Vermeer pieces, I would sleep with them, shower with them, go on hikes, pools, jacuzzis, beach, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with this one. I've already took like a few showers with it on and it just looks absolutely amazing. I've been getting a ton of compliments on it. It's only been a few days and I love this thing. I don't want to take it off. But yeah, those are mainly the three things. Definitely the pros outweigh the cons, or four things, I should say. But if you're wondering if you should go from like a two millimeter to a three, if you should save up for the three, I would say absolutely do that just because I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say that on camera, these chains look a lot bigger than they do in person. But I don't think they look a lot bigger, but for me personally, I would definitely just, I'm very happy that I went for the three. Now, if you're a guy um, and you got like a thicker neck and things like that, then you might want to go up a little bit. But I think that a three is a great starter chain. A lot of people get the 2.5s and those are really nice, especially if you're thinking of throwing a pendant on them. But I kind of like rocking this by itself without a pendant. That's kind of the plan. I mean, if I decide to two chain it, then maybe i'd consider a pendant something like that but that's for the future but anyways again great choice with the rope chain like it's 
I, I love it. I love it. And I love the diamond cut because this shit dances. When I'm out in the sun and people are seeing it just like with no lighting, nothing like that, it just shines, it sparkles, it looks great. And it's still subtle enough because it's not, you know, a big gaudy chain that's trying to get people's attention, but it just effortlessly... <laughs> the fuck? You <laughs> try to swallow all I said effortlessly. <laughs> it effortlessly just catches that sort of attention. You know what I mean? So if that's the type of person you are, you're laid back, but you just got it like that, then the three diamond cut rope chain is so fire. I couldn't be happier with my decision to get this one in particular. Um, and yeah, in the future, I'll hopefully get some, maybe like a flat curb. Um, I do love the Miami Cubans, but if I get a Cuban, I want it to have the box lock. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.